okay hi guys welcome to a new video so in today's video i'll be talking about your entry versus your exit okay which is more important now before i start this video i want to clarify that uh both are equally important i'm not saying that uh the entry is more important than the exit or the exit is more important the, than the uh, entry i'm just saying uh which you should focus on more okay which is more important okay so let's start off the video by talking about uh, what entry and exit is so entry is pretty straightforward it's where you enter okay so for example price it's uh, here right now and you enter here okay but when it comes to your exit uh, i'm actually referring to two things number one is where do you exit if you are right okay meaning that you have a profit and uh, where do you exit when you are wrong okay where's your stop loss Okay, so as you can see on the chart here, I've just, you know, simulated a position. Let's say you go long here, All right? Your exit, maybe you put it below this low and uh, this is your take profit, right? So in every single trade, you should always have a entry. I mean, if you enter a trade, obviously you have an entry and you should have an exit strategy, right? Exit strategy for when you are right and when you are wrong, okay? This is very important. You don't just want to have a exit plan when you're right you want to have the exit plan when you're wrong so so that you can cut your loss if you are wrong okay that's very important now let's go into the crux of today's video which is is the entry more important or the exit more important okay now the answer is actually exit okay why do i say exit because you, you can have a bad entry, it doesn't really matter as long as your stop loss is placed correctly, meaning that uh, you don't put your stop loss too tight, you don't get whipped out, out of the trade, okay? Your entry, honestly, it doesn't matter. You, you buy a bit higher, you buy a bit lower, as long as you get your stop loss right, okay? So this is important, right? Your exit, where you exit the trade is more important than uh, where you enter. Okay, you know, there are a lot of new traders who they want the perfect entry. Okay, in fact, I was coaching some uh, friends of mine and, you know, they always want a perfect entry. And there I was telling them that, hey, look, entry is not so important because honestly, you can just compensate for your bad entry uh, by using a smaller position size. Okay, let me just uh, write this down and go into more details. So basically, you can compensate for a bad entry with a smaller position size, okay? But you can never compensate for a bad exit. Okay? So what do I mean by this, okay? Let's say your perfect entry or, you know, uh, so to speak, you, you wanted to enter at uh, this level here, for example. Okay, and uh, perhaps you were sleeping, perhaps you were busy or you forgot about trade and by the time you saw it, uh, price is here. Okay, price is over here. So you're like, oh, I should have bought it here, but it's price is here. But you can still enter and put your stop loss below and go in with a smaller position size. Okay, provided that your risk to reward still makes sense. Okay, there's a caveat. You want to make sure that your risk to reward still makes sense. You don't want to be risking, you know, 40 pips to make 20 pips. You don't want to be chasing the market, okay? So if the risk to reward still makes sense, then you can still enter and because you have a bigger stop loss, you can compensate for a bad entry with a smaller position size, okay? In fact, you should always be sizing your position according to your stop loss, okay? If you do not know how to do this, I have a video on how to do this. So just check out a uh, YouTube channel, uh, I have a video about how to position size your trades, okay? Basically, the core idea is that uh, if you have a trade that is risking 20 pips versus a trade that is risking, that has a risk of 100 pips, then you want to take a smaller position um, for the 100 pips stop trade and a bigger position for the 20 pips uh, trade because the stop loss is tighter. So you want to position size uh, your positions, okay? So I repeat it one more time. You can compensate for a bad entry with a smaller position size, but you can never compensate for a bad exit. Okay, think of it this way. Let's say uh, you were to buy over here and price goes up. Okay, price goes up to here and um, you do not apply any trade management. You do not take your trade. You do not you know, shift your stop loss to break even, etc. You just leave it and price comes down and stops you up. 
okay, you could have made this profit or at least you could have exited with a break even or a slight profit if you had managed your trade, right? But because you didn't exit properly, right, uh, the trade stopped you out and break it at, at, at a loss, okay? So you, you want to always be very cautious with your exit. Right, not just uh where you put the stop loss, but also where you put your uh, you know take profit. How do you manage your trade in a uh, real time? Okay, now if you need some tips for on uh how to manage your trades, I have a video about trade management as well. So make sure you check that out. Okay, if you are new to this channel, right, uh, I have a lot of videos like this. Okay, I also have a free day trading guide for you. The links in the description. Just make sure you download that. Okay, it's free. You just need to check that out. Download it. You get instant access. No credit card required. Okay. So the last part of today's video that I want to talk about is uh, how do you improve your hit rate as a beginner? Okay. Now you are new to trading, and uh, chances are you are not that good at uh reading the market. Okay. It takes time. It takes experience. You are you're not too good. So how do you actually increase your hit rate? Okay. Now when you are new trader, you are a beginner, you're still struggling, you want to focus on using a bigger stop loss, okay? A bigger stop loss. Why? Because when you are new, you are not that accurate. I mean, think of it this way, right? If you, are, you, you just picked up uh, archery, right? You just picked up archery and you are trying to, you know, shoot the uh, arrow at the, uh, you know, at the target, you are going to suck. This is just the fact, right? You're going to suck. So, same in trading, you're, you're going to suck. Your accuracy is going to be sucky, right? You're not going to be good. So why would you use a tight stop loss when you're not accurate, right? It doesn't make sense, okay? You should be using a bigger stop loss, right? Use a bigger stop loss, okay? I'll write it down here for you so that uh, you can screenshot it if uh, you, you know, you, you want. Just a moment, okay? Use a bigger stop loss. Okay, so now you might say, if I use a bigger stop loss, I'm going to lose more money. Okay, that's not true. Okay, that's not true at all because when you use a bigger stop loss and you adopt the adaptive position sizing that I mentioned earlier, okay, you will actually use a smaller position size. Okay, make sense? Because if let's say you are risking, uh, initially you were having a stop loss of 30 pips, now you're having a stop loss of 60 pips. If your if your stop loss is doubled, then your position size should be reduced also. So for example, you are trading uh, 30 pips, right? Now I'll write it down for you. Okay. So let's say initially, you were risking 30 pips and you were trading, uh, let's say one micro lot, which is actually 0 0.1, okay? Sorry, one mini, one mini lot. One mini lot is 0 0.1, micro is 0 0.01, okay? Let's say you, you, you watch my video and you want to increase your hit rate. What do you do? You change, revise, okay? You risk 60 pips instead. And instead of, you know, entering the same mini lot, because if you had en enter the same mini lot, right, your risk is going to be double because you're risking 60 pips instead of 30 pips. So what you can do is you trade 0 0.5 mini lot, which is actually 0 0.5. 0 0.5, which is the same as actually 0, uh, 0 0.5 uh, micro lot, as in it's, uh, sorry, it's my five micro lots, basically, five micro lots, okay? So the idea is you want to reduce your uh, position size so that uh, your trade has more uh, breath, and that also means that you don't need to be so accurate, okay? When you don't have to be so accurate, this will increase your hit rate because you do not get stopped out that often, okay? Then as you get good, right, as you become, you know, more proficient, maybe uh, you trade for three years, you know, as you trade for five years, ten years, right, and you get very good at uh, pinpointing turning points, you are very accurate. Then you want to trade like I do. You want to have a very small stop loss, right, because the smaller your stop loss, uh, the higher the... Uh, reward to risk, right? Because if you have a 30 pips risk and you have a take profit of 100, uh, 100 pips profit, that's a 1 is to 3.3 3, uh, re reward to risk, okay? Versus if you risk 60 pips to make 100 pips, that's only about 1 is to about 1.5 there about, okay? So that's my thoughts on how do you improve your hit rate. 
okay so to sum up this video right you want to focus on your exit because your exit is more important okay you can compensate for a bad entry with a smaller position size but you can never compensate for a bad entry in terms of uh, taking profits or in terms of cutting your losses so your exit is something you want to uh, focus on okay and also if you are new you're still struggling i am encourage you to use a bigger stop loss and use a smaller position size okay so make sure you check out the other videos if uh, there are some concepts here that uh, i go through that you do not understand okay check out the other videos and if you are new please download copy of day trading guide hit the subscribe button okay and leave a comment below if you have any questions i'll do my best to address them okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video